Have you ever heard of MicroStrategy or Bitcoin Ordinals? Don't miss the latest developments being built on the Bitcoin ledger by none other than the greatest BTC maxi of all time, Michael Saylor. This bull run is full of opportunity and this is maybe one of the best. What are Ordinals? Bitcoin Ordinals are Bitcoin NFTs. They are non-fungible tokens that contain information. They are a type of digital asset written on Satoshis. Typically, NFTs are meant for things like board, ape yacht club, virtual land like in a video game. In the design of Bitcoin, there was no intention for ordinals. It's an innovation, and it makes sense when you think about it. Like altcoins that have ecosystems that grow in directions no one could have foreseen, NFTs developed in other places and it caught on to Bitcoin. It's not new per se, it's just new to BTC. It's been a narrative that's been developing in this bull run. If you are into crypto and making money, pay attention to this one. If you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Bitcoin ordinals were developed by Casey Rotomore the same guy that made the runes protocol. So Casey's been developing Bitcoin for a long time, which I interpret as a good sign because a proven track record inspires confidence. You may be thinking, what is the big deal with ordinals? Seems like Ethereum did that a million years ago or any number of altcoins have something similar with better technology. Why does anybody care about Bitcoin ordinals? I'll tell you why, because it's Bitcoin, baby. The biggest dog who will outlast, outsurvive everybody else is doing it. That comes with a degree of certainty that a lot of people look for in projects. Bitcoin leads the market and what it does has massive impacts. Like when the CEO of a company makes an announcement, everyone below him listens. You may be wondering how BTC ordinals work and how they are different. Bitcoin ordinals work by writing information onto Satoshis. One BTC is worth 100 million Satoshis and they are named Satoshis after Satoshi Nakamoto, the creator of Bitcoin. Ordinal protocol uses Bitcoin transaction structure to embed data onto Satoshis. They leverage the Taproot upgrade, which is a pretty big deal when it came out, to enhance the network's capability to support the inscriptions of the Satoshis. Ordinals capitalize on that, and they are now an integrated part of the Bitcoin ledger, which is as official as it gets. The content is wrapped inside an envelope and is sent out and transacted anytime Bitcoin changes hands. So anytime you move BTC from an exchange to your wallet, you could have potentially made use of the ordinal protocol. The consensus mechanism of BTC is proof of work. We all know that, and it remains unchanged. Another aspect to it is that ordinals throw a bone to miners, giving them more importance and potentially more revenue because transaction costs are higher when they're used. The potential upside and potential downside of ordinals, we have to look at that. The upside to ordinals are many. The data is stored on chain, which makes security better because it's proof of Work. This should make any Bitcoin maxi very happy. One of the main benefits, in my opinion, is that the Orno protocol is immutable. That means it can't be changed. Once something is inscribed in the Satoshis, it can't be taken out or altered. This is a big advantage from a security standpoint compared to traditional NFTs, which are smart contracts. Those NFTs can be stored off chain, like in cold storage wallet. They are not on chain and not immutable. They don't bring the security ordinals have. However, not everything is upside. Ordinals are more expensive to transact even compared to Ethereum fees. So you can imagine how expensive that can be. The transaction speed is slower than other altcoins. Those are real problems. However, all of these limitations could be overcome with the Lightning Network or a layer two of some sort. It doesn't mean it's stuck there. That's just what ordinals face today. And it's the opportunity for others to innovate and find solutions, which is the strength of the crypto market. Who are the people building on the ordinal protocol? That's a billion dollar question, isn't it? Michael Saylor, duh, who did you think you would be? The Bitcoin maxis are all over this one. I can believe that. MicroStrategy unveiled an ordinal protocol service called MicroStrategy Orange. The goal of that is to provide trustless tamper-proof identities using the Bitcoin blockchain. The service will allow users to issue DID, decentralized, IDs. These identities will not be linked to real world people. They are digital identities. MicroStrategy already built one application called Orange for Outlook. And that service integrates digital signatures into emails to enable recipients to verify the identity of the sender. Services like that one already exist, but they don't have the backing of BTC or a mainstream company like MicroStrategy. They don't have that certainty. Michael Saylor is synonymous with Bitcoin. This is bound to bring hype to the ordinal protocol. It's like having George Foreman promoting your grill. This will result in overpriced action. So don't sleep on the ordinal protocol.